What is going on legends today? I'm going to show you how to connect your cursor with your Supabase account or database using an MCP. All you need to know is that an MCP is basically an advanced version of an API. MCPs are super powerful. We can now use cursors agent to control our Supabase. So we can go ahead and tell it to make new tables. We can have it read our tables and we can make it do anything that we want. Create edge functions, anything you needed to do. The apps like Lovable, Bolt, Replit, all these other AI code editors already have built-in features to where you can directly install or connect with your Supabase account. Now, Cursor on the other hand does not allow for direct connections. That's why we have to use an MCP. This is gonna be extremely, extremely simple. The way we're gonna do this right now is by using Composio. Composio has a massive library of different MCP servers. So if we go over here to Composio, this is their website right here. We can scroll down and we can see all of their different MCP server types down here. But we're just gonna go ahead and search Supabase Boom, right here, cool. So if you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see installation steps. Now this is the newest version that Composio has released to set up your MCP server with Supabase. The issue with this is that this one doesn't work yet. This one gives you a direct terminal command line that you can go ahead and put into a terminal and run it and it will make the code for you. This does not work yet. This was released quite literally today. I'm sure this will work in the future. Go ahead and try that later. What we're gonna do is use the old version right here. If you click on the bottom of the page, you're gonna see using an old version of cursor. This is the correct working version. All right, cool. Let's get ourselves set up here. So make sure you have your cursor project open. And in order to get to this MCP area right here, you're gonna go up to the top right, see a little settings icon, click on that. This will open this cursor settings. And then down at the bottom, you'll see MCP. So what we can do here is go ahead and click add new global MCP server, click that. And it's gonna make this file called mcp.json. So we need to put a quick little snippet of code in here. And we're gonna go back over to my Notion. And recently I've been working with a lot of other really cool people that have been building with AI apps. And we made our own Discord called AI Builders. So if you guys wanna join that, that is going to be right here, this link, which will be down in the description. You can get some really cool resources and awesome stuff to keep in the know about what's happening and what's new with AI and AI app development. This little snippet of code is inside of our Discord. So if you wanna hop in, go grab it or just copy it from here. But I'm gonna go ahead and copy this code snippet right here. And we're gonna go to our cursor and I'm just gonna paste that snippet right there, just like that. And now you can see URL, it says put your URL here and project name. We need to go ahead and get our Composio URL. So now back over here in Composio, if we scroll down, remember we're not gonna use this first version, we're gonna use the older version. Scroll down here and it says add new MCP server. So I can go ahead and hit generate and that's gonna give us our link. So we can copy this link, go back to cursor and then right between these parentheses, you're just gonna go ahead and paste in your link just like that and then hit command s you'll see there's a dot on the very top of this file meaning it is not saved on mac i'm going to hit command s and now we can see how that little dot has moved meaning that this file is saved windows it's probably control s and to check that your mcp has been added we can go back to our cursor settings and we can see in our MCP that Supabase has been added right here. What this MCP does is it's going to allow Cursor to access your entire Supabase account, meaning it will have access to every single one of your projects and databases. We wanna specify which database we want it to work on within this project. That's where your project name comes in right here. I'm not gonna put anything in here right now, but what you would do is take out these brackets and then put my project name. So you do something like that, supabase dash my project name, just like that. Make sure you keep those parentheses inside of the code snippet here. Now all we need to do is ask cursor agent to verify supabase MCP connection. Now this little prompt right here is the perfect one that seems to work every single time. So let's copy this, let's go back to cursor and I'm gonna go up here to the top right in the AI agent. I'm gonna paste that in, it says check my MCP server supabase connection and provide me the auth link back. We'll go ahead and let that run. Okay, see that it made a tool call. I am in YOLO mode, so it's gonna automatically do this call for me. Usually you might have to click run tool, uh, but in YOLO mode, it will automatically do that for me. Cool, so it says the soup based connection has been initiated to complete the authentication. Please open this link. So copy this link that the agent gives you back. And we're just gonna go over to Chrome here and I'm gonna paste that link into this. And then you'll see this page load to authorize API access for Composio. This is what we wanna see, this is good news. So we can hit authorize Composio app, make sure you choose the right organization if you have multiple. I only have one, so I'm just gonna hit authorize Composio app, boom. And then we should see a success page. Perfect, this is what we wanna see. Authentication is successful, so now we can go back into cursor and we should be fully connected and ready to go. So once that's done, now we can ask it, can you list me my Supabase projects? 
So I'm gonna ask it, can you list me my Superbase projects? And it should make another MCP tool call, which it did just like that. And we'll wait and see what it gives us back. Cool, there you go. Now you can see it gave us all of our Superbase projects. We have member check-in app, challenge, hail zones, web app, easy onboarding widget. This is awesome and we are now connected. Now the biggest difference between this MCP with Composio versus the direct Superbase MCP that's provided from Superbase documentation, the Composio MCP can actually read and write into your Superbase database. The Superbase MCP can only read your database, which can cause issues. We want this to work exactly like Lovable, Bolt, or Replit, where they have a direct integration with your database. Your Composio MCP will now be able to do that where it can read and write any tables, new columns, whatever you need into your database. And now you are pretty much good to go. If you wanna make sure that your cursor AI agent focuses on a very specific project and is not just trying to modify random databases, first, I would follow these steps. Number one, make it list all of your Superbase projects, especially if this is a brand new MCP connection, have it list all of your projects available. Next, I would then ask it this right here. Great, for this project, we are going to specifically be working in the challenge project. Can you list me the tables in this project? So now we're gonna get the AI agent to focus on one specific project. So let's have it do that real quick. So we should go ahead and call another MCP tool. Beautiful, and we can see that it's selecting tables from our specific projects. And this is perfect. It can see our admin profiles and admin settings, which are the only two tables that are inside of that project. So that's it. You now have your cursor AI agent connected with your Superbase project.